We are with uh, Alexandru Stratulat from Sourceless. Hello, Alexandru. How are you? Hi. A little tired, but fine. On this event, everything was, uh, let's say, big. This is my, yeah, big. A difference um, between other events and this one uh, in Romania, it's another league, let's say it like this. So, in my opinion, it's one of the best events uh, in Romania, uh, I, I have been. So, Alexandru, can you explain that uh, what the Sourceless project uh, is and how it differs from other blockchain technologies? Nice to have this question. Uh, we are actually a layer one blockchain and uh, I will try to keep it short because it's a lot of um, uh, to tell about, but um, I will try to keep it like major differences between us and others. Uh, when we think on uh, blockchain side, on a uh, layer one blockchain, which was right on from scratch, I'm the uh, software architect of Sourceless Blockchain. I started in 2016 and um, we uh, keep evolved and developed. Uh, until December last year uh, when we managed to uh, launch our mainnet. At this point we are different because we have a, a different uh, proof type than others. We are not proof of work like Bitcoin, we are not proof of stake like Ethereum 2.0, we are actually proof of existence in which, and I will be very short, we are using zero knowledge, like the technology uh, behind validation of, uh, of the transaction and not just financial transaction, we will execute also smart contracts and so on. And also uh, we'll have a very nice feature in which every wallet on Sourceless uh, will have a dedicated fully validator node because in Sourceless every participant will not um, let's say, we will not have to pay a fee, actually he will be part of the ecosystem and it will be a fully validator by itself. The quantity of data transmitted, the quantity of data needed in order to, to have this validator node, it's actually one megabyte. For all this ecosystem that we build, uh, we have a um, patent in the United States uh, so, we are, let's say, something new, something different, and we are preparing for maybe late April, uh, if we will not manage until then, because there are a lot of uh, challenges we need to, to have, uh, let's say, completed until then. Uh, definitely, we will have in uh, May a beta testing for all the users uh, that want to try us. Well, in few words, how does Sourceless plan to revolutionize the internet and what are the potential benefits for its users? We believe, as um, I was uh, earlier today in the panel uh, discussion, we really believe that web should be owned by people. For this we have str.domains, which is a completely different uh, web. Until now, since 90, no one changed the face of the web. We are doing it. We have a functional beta testing um, browser right now. We'll have different communication path than HTTP, www, so everything is different. We'll prove on our event the first ever uh, Web3 complete um, ecosystem united into a browser. This is actually our main product and is based 100% on our technology. So instead of having uh, a Web3 injection like we have now, so uh, instead of having a www DNS that we need to rent, actually we'll have uh, three components. The STR domain as a WNFT, it's a web NFT, it's a, actually a dynamic NFT, We'll have communication path, which are different than HTTP. We have the hosting 
data which are fully decentralized, similar with uh, IPVS, and we have our own browser. So we are, let's say, a fresh start of the web. Okay, how can sourceless blockchain technology revolutionize different industries? Can you name a few industries where you have implemented the solutions? Yeah, at this moment we have actually uh, some uh, tech site partners. Uh, one of one of them, and it's close to me, and actually close to idea of what sourceless is, is IOHASHER, which means, that this acronym means International Organization of Human Rights. Um, in the entire world there are approximately 21 million active members. We are preparing immediately after the main, uh, uh, our main event, let's say like this, we are preparing to uh, write to each one of uh, human rights member, a WNFT, in which uh, the membership and the digital laws of human rights are right in there. This is one, let's say, of a really human support. And another partner that I want to, um, uh, let's say, make it um, like all the same as you have share, which um, has the same ideas and share the same vision that we have. It's actually uh, green energy company they are taking garbage for real and they, they are creating a new um, let's say a way of uh, getting sunlight and transform it to energy actually there are photovoltaic panels but without the silicium cells they are our partners from Germany and uh, is nice I can um, be part also on that real technology which can really change the way of dealing with the energy side problems that we have even today and let's say last but not least uh, partner that we we have at this moment it's actually an African music platform is dedicated at this moment for Africans but will not limit only on them but just um, because we can give them um, sharing um, a caring hand let's say like this um, we created a platform the name is Gasson Canson it's actually up already the first edition Gasson Canson that sourceless that IO in which all the artists can put the music there, immediately they will get an NFT collection and they can really get profit instantly. It's just the blockchain on the use case of the people, not on just only on the artist. So you like it, you can listen, you can have the best of it and everything is clear without a middle let's say agency or third party that can uh, take different uh, let's say commissions it's actually the definition of blockchain into a music platform well that's impressive alexandro thank you so much for your interview at crypto k tv thank you very much and uh, nice to to be here